So we've had both of these cases for a while now at KitGuru. They'd been passed around a couple of team members who didn't get the chance to do anything with them. And now they have ended up with me. Because these have been launched for a while, it might seem a bit pointless for us now to review them. You've probably already seen all the launch reviews. There's plenty out there. We've got the Deepcool CH510 in white and the Fractal Focus 2. Two very similar cases in some ways. They're a similar size and a similar price, but they also have some differences that are quite easily noticeable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat you guys to two builds in one video. I'm going to build an all AMD system in one and an Intel and Nvidia system in the other. And then when I come back, you can see the builds and let me know which one you like best. Iron Wolf Pro, tough, ready, scalable. So before I start the builds, I just want to give you a quick rundown of these cases. They're both quite compact mid-tower ATX cases. The one on the end is the Deep Cool CH510 in white, and this one is the Fractal Focus 2. There's a couple of different versions of this one. You can get it with RGB, which is this version, RGB and tempered glass. And there's also a non-RGB version that comes with no fans. The Fractal Focus 2 RGB White, you can pick this up currently from CCL for just under £80. The non-RGB version is available at eBuyer for just under £65. And the Deepcool CH510 in white, that you can pick up from scan.co.uk at £69.98. The non-RGB versions of both of these cases are under £70. The Fractal is a little bit more expensive. The version we've got here with the RGB lighting because it comes with fans and an RGB hub. So first a quick rundown on the Fractal Focus 2. As I say, I'm going to focus on the RGB version. It is available in black and white versions with RGB and no RGB. Price changes depending on the configuration. It is a high airflow case with a mesh front panel. That front panel also doubles up as a dust filter. It also comes with two Fractal Aspect 14 140mm fans pre-installed in the front and a tempered glass side panel. Front IO connectivity on the Focus 2 consists of two USB 3.0 Type A ports, two 3.5 millimeter audio jacks, so one for headphones, one for microphones. There's a power button on there and the RGB version of the case has an RGB control button. And there's also an optional USB Type-C upgrade kit which can be purchased separately. You do have a space for that which is just blanked off if you don't buy the upgrade kit. In terms of cooling support, so it is quite a compact case, the Focus 2, but it has space inside for up to 620 mil fans. So you can fit three in the front, two in the top and one in the rear. Or if you want to just stick with 140 mil fans, you can fit up to 440 mil fans in the Focus 2. There's also decent support for radiators. So in the front, you can fit up to a 360 millimeter radiator. That also includes a 280 or 240 or 120. In the roof, it's just up to a 280, so two by 140. And then in the rear, you can fit up to a 120 or 140 radiator. Maximum CPU cooler height, so maximum air cooler height is 170 millimeters. And then other hardware support includes motherboards up to ATX form factor. So that also includes micro ATX and mini ITX. At the back, there's seven PCI expansion slots. Maximum graphics card length is 405 millimeters and that's with front fans installed. And then behind the motherboard tray, space for cable routing is 19 millimeters. And Fractal hasn't forgotten about storage support as well in the Focus 2. There are two 2.5 inch drive bays included, but there's space for up to a total of six. And there's also two 3.5 inch drive bays. Then onto the Deepcool CH510. We've got the white version here. This is also available in black. In some ways, it's similar to the Focus 2 with its size and support for hardware, but it's also quite different because on the front, you've got a minimalistic solid front panel with just vents down the side for airflow. There's also a built-in headphone holder on the side. And then on the bottom of the right-hand side panel, there's extra vents for airflow coming through the power supply shroud. We'll take a look at that in a bit. I'm going to mount some fans on that during the build and see how that works. The CH510 also includes a built-in GPU anti-sag bracket, removable dust filters on the front, 
top and bottom. Front I.O. connectivity consists of two USB 3.0 Type-A ports, a single combined 3.5 millimeter audio jack and power and reset buttons on the front I.O. In terms of cooling support in the CH510, there's space for up to 920 millimeter fans or 540 mil fans. There's only one fan included with the CH510 and that's just a plain black 120 millimeter exhaust fan pre-installed in the rear of the case. Again, liquid cooling support is good in the CH510. At the front you can fit up to a 360 millimeter radiator. Same in the top, you can fit a 360 mil there. Obviously that also includes up to 280s, 240s, 120s. In the rear you can fit up to a 120 or 140 radiator. Maximum CPU cooler height, so maximum air cooler height is 175 millimeters. And other supported hardware includes motherboards up to eATX form factor. That also includes ATX micro ATX and mini ITX. Again, there's seven PCIe slot cutouts. Maximum graphics card length in the CH510 is slightly less than the Focus 2. It's 380 millimeters in the CH510. Maximum power supply length is 170 millimeters. Although if you remove the 3.5 inch drive bay from under the power supply shroud, I'm sure you can fit in a bigger power supply than that. You have a bit less storage support in the CH510. There's just two 2.5 inch drive bays and two 3.5 inch drive bays. You can add another 2.5 inch drive on top of the 3.5 inch drive bay but that obviously then limits the 3.5 inch drive to just one. So moving on to the builds. For the deep cool case, I'm gonna be going for a white theme build. Because of that, this is going to be the Intel and Nvidia build. That is because the only whiteboard I have at the moment is this NZXT N7Z690. I'm gonna pair that up with a Intel Core i9-13900KS might have to update the BIOS on that. For graphics in the deep cool system, I'm using this Inno 3D GeForce RTX 4080 iChill X3. This is a black card, but I've done a bit of a mod to the back plate. I've just wrapped that with some 3M vinyl gloss white wrap. It's not the best wrap in the world, but pretty good. It looks all right and it should look fine on for this video. In terms of memory, I'm using two of these PNY XLR8 gaming. These are two times eight gigabyte kits. So in total, there will be 32 gigabytes for DIMMs. These are white and they are DDR4 3200 because the N7 Z690, that sports DDR4. Storage is also from PNY. It's the XLR8 gaming CS3040, one terabyte PCIe Gen 4 M.2 NVMe drive. In terms of CPU cooling, so I'll be using the Deepcool LT720 in white. Good CPU cool, I did an unboxing video on that recently, so now we're gonna be using that in this system. To power the system, it's the Deepcool PQ1000M, so this is an 80 plus gold, fully modular power supply. I might be able to find some white cable extensions for that. And then some fans in the system because it doesn't really come with any fans as such. Just that black fan in the back. I'm going to be removing that. And I'm going to add some of these Thermaltake Swafan EX 12 and 14. So 120 and 140 millimeter fans. I'll try and fit in as many as I can. Including some on top of the power supply shroud to give the graphics card some airflow. Then for the Fractal Focus 2 build, so this one is going to be an all black internally, all AMD system. The CPU for this is an AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. Motherboard is this X670 Aorus Elite AX. For graphics in this one, I'm gonna be using this Gigabyte Radeon RX 7900 XT Gaming OC card. Memory in the all AMD system is this Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB. This is a 32 gigabyte kit, two 16 gigabyte DIMMs, uh, DDR5, 6,000 mega transfers per second. For storage, just a single M.2 drive again. This is the WD Black SN850, two terabyte drive, PCIe Gen 4, M.2 NVMe. For CPU cooling, we are using the Fractal Lumen S36 RGB. So again, a 360 millimeter, all in one liquid cooler. Powering the system will be a Fractal Ion Plus 2 Platinum 860. So this is an 80 plus platinum, fully modular, 860 watt power supply. I think 
I'll build the fractal system first, then onto the deep cool system, then we'll come back and see what you guys think of them both.
Okay, so both builds are complete and both systems up and running. Everything's working as they should be, which is a pretty major achievement with two builds in one day. No major issues really with either build, apart from the top of the Focus 2, it's a bit tight. If you've got 140mm fans in there, Connecting EPS cables is difficult. You have to drop the fans out to connect the cables up and then getting the 140 mil fans back in once the EPS cables are connected is very tricky. I did have to squash the cables down quite a bit. It's not ideal. I wouldn't probably recommend using 140 mil fans in that Focus 2 at the top. I would use 120s. The reason I use them simply was because the 140mm fans came with the case and I wanted to reuse them rather than having to switch to some other fans. But they do fit. I have to stress that they do fit, but it is very tight. Other than that, both of these cases were really good for building a system in, considering that both these cases can be had for under £70 without the fans in the Focus 2. That is pretty impressive to me. I mean, when these cases were designed, there's no way the designers would have imagined somebody's going to build a 3900 KS RTX 4080 system in the Deep Cool one and an AMD 7950X and 7900 XT system, especially in that Focus 2, because the really cheap cases, ideally designed for lower spec systems. You know, we have been able to build these high-end builds in these cheap cases, so it's testament to them. They both performed really well in terms of being able to build these systems inside them. So I'm really impressed with both cases. No thermal testing or anything like this. It's not a review of this video, just simply a build in these two cases to see how they went really, and I'm really impressed with both. And also the uh, graphics card that I wrapped the backplate on there, I think that's turned out better than I expected. So that's something I'll probably do again in future, do more vinyl wrapping if I want to change the color of parts. But I really like how both these systems have turned out. I probably prefer the looks of the deep cool one, although I do like the Fractal Focus 2 build as well. It's difficult to choose between the two. That's a little bit more subtle. This is a bit more RGB in your face. I do like the white theme in that, but then the Focus 2 is a very basic case and it's done well to be able to handle the build in that. So I'm impressed with both these cases. Let me know in the comment section which one out of these two builds you prefer. Would you have the Deep Cool CH510 build with the RTX 4080 and the 3900KS? Or would you go for the Fractal Focus 2 with the all AMD 7950X and 7900XT build? Let me know which one is your favourite. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this battle of the two budget cases with the deep cool ch510 and the fractal focus 2 if you enjoyed the video let me know what you think in the comment section and give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so and if you enjoy what we do here at kit guru you can always help support us by heading over to the store and picking up some of the merch or you can subscribe to our patreon and if you want to catch up on all the in-depth technical reviews head over to the website